Hello, and I am so happy that you are here with me today. Today we are going to bust the old belief that keeps our confidence down and us yeah, I'm just not feeling quite enough. And that is this odd concept of being too much, told to dim our lights, to settle for less, to um, like we want too much, we are too much, too big of energy, all of this stuff we are kicking out today. We are transforming it. So I did this live in my group, Unstoppable Confidence. So follow me over there, Unstoppable Confidence, overcome bad relationships and be amazing. <laughs> And um, if you'd like to know more about working with me privately, go ahead and schedule a consultation at lishantica.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you like this and you have some desire to know more about transforming old news into good news. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the Unstoppable Confidence crew and group. If you are new here, I want to welcome you and just tell you you're in the right place. You're, right. you're in the right place to raise your confidence, to learn more about you. And you know, every now and again, I'll jump on here live and just give you more tips and tools to transform your life and any limiting beliefs that you have any limiting habits that you have, any limiting relationships that you have, and create more um, confidence, more confidence and ease in your life. That is my job. <laughs> that is what I do. And um, if you ever want to talk to me privately, I have the link here, and it's also in the bio. And I do work with people privately, as well as in our group programs for Paradise Weights and, of course, Amazing You. So learning about those is also why you're here, and I want to uh, welcome you to this journey. So my name is Lisha Antica. I am the Trauma Transformer. I was deemed that back in 2012. It was a great year. I became one of America's premier experts in self-care, and I began my journey. And this journey was to truly collect all the superpowers that I possibly could to bring to you and transform a root cause. And so working with my clients, we talk about confidence. We talk about what's stopping them. And I have um, different programs that I work with people, but across the board, everybody walks away with higher confidence, which is why I named this group Unstoppable Confidence. The other thing that people walk away from, though, is this understanding, this realization that they're enough. Then there's a flip side to that. So what's coming up for my clients this week that is just across the board that I cannot believe holds us back, but it actually makes us kind of trapped in this thing of people pleasing, right, of, of being the good girl or the good boy and, and doing this people pleasing thing and shrinking to fit in, right? So if you've been the black sheep in your family, if you've um, told the unspeakable, if you've broke habits and cycles of abuse and cycles in your family, if you've done things differently, then you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, this too much, right? Don't be too much, don't be too loud, don't be too flamboyant, don't be too pretty, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be, don't be too much, right? I was, I used to be told I had big energy. You're just too big energy. Well, I didn't have big energy. I just didn't know how to manage my energy. So today, that's the gift I'm going to share with you. We are going to do some energy work because that's something that we can definitely do over the internet. And we are going to connect with that part of you that that has been told to dim it down, to not shine so bright, to not believe in yourself, to not be haughty, to not be confident, right? To not be confident because you didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings or make them uncomfortable or make them feel like they were less than. And because you have a huge capacity for love, huge capacity for being a good person, a huge capacity for righteousness right? and trusting 
that you have that because you're in this group, you're following me. And those are things that I stand for. And I do attract the opposite of that sometimes, but I quickly block those people and we turn away, right? So, um, but it gets us stuck in the cycle of not being too much, not allowing yourself to be too much, right? And it, it's a showstopper, guys. It's a showstopper. I don't want your show to be stopped anymore. So if you are with me, if you don't want your show to be stopped anymore, whether you're watching the live or the replay, I don't see anybody here on here live yet, but go ahead and click, say yes, or give me a one, right? Say yes, or give me a one. I know I'm total options girl, but say yes, 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 or one, one. <laughs> Tell me some and tell me where you're listening from and um, anything else that you would like me to know. Now, I know if you're watching the replay, you can hashtag replay, letting me know, and I will jump in here. I'll do coaching. I'll respond to your questions and, and we'll really dial it in. The energy work that we're going to be doing today is a method I call hugs. Okay. And hug stands for hearts uniting God's spirit or good spirit, <laughs> if you don't believe in God. And it is really about mastering your own energy and mastering your own energy is really important for many survivors. So I'm going to speak to you as, as if, whether it was true or not, you have survived something. If you've had some sort of trauma in your life, but specifically childhood trauma and that you are empathic, all right? So this might be a little bit different if you um, if you don't have that empathic gift or you're awakening to empathic gift, but the catch 22 for empaths is that you have your feelers out all the time. And as children, we learned how to do this if you're raised in a neglectful environment or an abusive environment of any kind. You, we, we learn how to survive and we get stuck in the survival mode and it makes us feel like we're not enough, right? But then oftentimes whenever I talk to my clients, they're like, well, you know, I, I was enough and then I got this unwanted attention. I, I, I was really proud of myself for this and then they just teased me about it. I really believed in this project and then it failed, right? And so we get in the cycle where we're in survival. And so we're creating more things to survive in our lives. And we have our feelers out. So our energy is all over the place and, and out there. It's, it's all about what's outside of us. It's about what she thought or what he thought or, or his mood or or what's the climate in the house? What's the climate in the classroom? What's the climate around us? And, and we're feeling those out to be, to be good, right? to be enough, to be liked. And this people pleasing is exhausting. Um, we'll never please everybody. So it's, physically exhausting, it's mentally exhausting, it's emotionally exhausting. And, you know, however it expresses in your life, it causes you to dim down your light because you don't really feel safe being noticed. You don't feel safe anymore tooting your own horn. You don't feel safe celebrating. This world is very against celebrating unless it's some like, oh, you want to, like you prove it first, right? You, you win something. Our little wins, um, one huge thing that I do with my clients is we do, like, where have you won? Hey, where have you won this week? And um, where are things working out for you? Sometimes they just come up to me and I don't have to do that. Excuse my dog. But other times, I have to coax it out of them because we get uncomfortable because we don't want to be too much. So I hear this over and over again uh, from relationships and a client who felt like um, she was just too much. Her boyfriend kept saying, you're too much. 
and you're too much work, you're too much this, you're too much that. And she's like, I'm just asking for a freaking phone call. I'm just asking to be involved in this decision. I'm just asking for, for him to respond. Like, am I really asking too much? And my response was, no, you're not asking for too much, right? Uh, I want you and I'm thinking about you or a reply, you know, when he's off work and, and able to do that is not too much to ask if you're offering your life and yourself and it's your, in a serious relationship. But oftentimes we will settle for less than what we truly desire because we don't want to be too much. We don't want to be that girl that is needy. Hey, we don't want to be that man that is pompous. We don't want to be that woman who is full of herself. We don't want to make anybody uncomfortable by being super successful. We don't want to make anybody uncomfortable by being super fit. Hey, we don't want to make anybody be uncomfortable by having that relationship that's totally to the moon and back. So we dumb it all down, we settle for less, which decreases our confidence. And we, we don't let ourselves be too much. So then we don't have too much of anything. We don't have too much money. We don't have too much impact. We don't have too much offers for new jobs. We don't have too much offers for relationships. We don't, we don't have too much of anything because we deemed too much as bad. So in none of this am I talking about gluttony, right, of any kind, not only the stuff in your face gluttony, but also, you know, greed and all of those things, like none of that. Like there is a line where everything can be crossed. There's a polarity to everything. But in this talk, I'm talking about your light, your energy, your desires, your wants, right, your, your gifts to the world giving yourself permission to be too much for somebody, anybody out there, and letting it be their problem. Letting it be their problem. So you can step into your, your best self, your best job. <sighs> All right, so this energy work is, is twofold. I always work within the six personal power zones. So um, if you look at your own university and the amazing you journey, we spend a month or two in each of the six personal power zones where you self-define, where you find your formula, where you break free. And we do the same thing when we connect with this and why we do that when we connect with our energy and why we do that is because your energy body, okay, is the fastest, your soul energy, your essence, that vibe that people feel when they, when you walk into a room, that essence is the fastest transformer, right? It's the fastest transformer. I've seen people heal from crazy disease. I've seen people heal decades of trauma. I've seen people heal uncertainty, where one day they're uncertain, they didn't know how to get a job, and the next day they had a whole bunch of job offers, <laughs> literally. I don't know if she connected the two dots, but I sure did. And, and that the continued job offers continue to happen, right? All because of this allowance to be too much, to not people please, this freedom to to be all in your body okay so the first power zone that we're going to connect when coming into this is i want you to breathe deep and i actually want you to squeeze those bottom muscles um, in your pelvis so you're going to squeeze your pelvic wall so your your vagina or your ball sack will lift your perineum and your butt will squeeze, right? So we're just going to squeeze that and shoot that energy up your spine. You're going to feel it move up. This is also really great for your bladder and a whole bunch of other things, but it gets you in your body. So all of a sudden you're like, boom, you're in your body and you're grounded. You're connected in to your circuits, 
your nervous system, your autonomic nervous system. And I love teaching. So if you are a learner, right, and many of my clients are, then, then you want to know why. So why we're doing this is because you we want to be grounded. We're going to shift our energy. We're going to shift your nervous system. So go ahead and just pulsate there. Boys and girls, men and women can all do this. You can teach your kids, right? You can pulsate there. Feel yourself grounded. Now the next thing is we're going to take the mind and we're going to get your mind in the game. And for this, I just want to offer you this. You can do it or not, but offer yourself permission to be too much, to be confident, okay? to be confident, to be too much, to shine your brightest, to have impact, to let things be effortless, to have too much money, too much joy, too much, to be too much to somebody, right? And it be okay. Because that too much is actually an inspiration for them to step into what's possible for them, or they can get upset about it, right? They can have that insecurity about it. So if you're raised around that insecurity, when you got really happy or really good, of course you don't want to do that, right? But today as an adult, you're like, yes, you give yourself permission to be confident, to be too much, to have too much to be shiny and feel that in your body. You want to connect that permission and just feel what that feels like in your body. Notice if you feel any contraction or expansion, right? Contraction or expansion. And we're doing something good. So if you have a lot of resistance to too much and a whole bunch of story going on in your mind about it, of why it's not safe to be too much, how you don't want to be looked at as a bitch, you don't want to be looked at as pompous asshole, you don't want to be looked at as cocky, you don't want to be looked at as, as a know-it-all, right? Sit back, listen to all those stories. Your ego, edging God out, is going to freak out because this is a change, okay? But you're not gonna be a bitch. You're not gonna be a cocky asshole. You're not gonna be a know-it-all. Like you've been learning too much and surrendering too much and, and humbled too much to, to be that. You're not trying that. This is not a band-aid anymore. This is like truly like you can have enough. You can be enough. You can be too much for some people. Your enough is your set point. Right? The sky is the limit. Raise the roof. All right. So feel that. Where is that in your body? What's coming up for you? Give yourself permission again to be too much. To be big energy. To be happy. To be hyper. To be full. Full of yourself. Nice. Okay, now we're going to emotionally get into this. So what would it feel like to be too much? Like where in your life would you be like, oh, there's my confidence right there. So for me, like singing was my thing. So for me, I can like feel that. I'm like, yeah. You know, another thing that's just like, oh, too much is like, I can be all I need to be. I don't have to dim down my light or, or segregate in my relationship, right? My relationship, I can be too much and my man's comfortable with that, right? He knows it's my deal, not his deal. He knows it's about me, not him, right? And he can be too much because it's about him, not me. And it's okay to feel that. Like where, where? Have you been only expressing a part of you? Where have you been holding back? Can you give yourself permission? Can you feel into what would it feel like to open up to that possibility to be much, to have more? What would that feel like? Breathe into that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now. The next piece is your soul body, your energy body. So we're going to use the mind here. Go ahead and visualize yourself like a miniature of yourself. 
right in your third eye, so in the middle of your brain. And in your brain, there's a whole bunch of literal, like, wires, hard wire. And I want you to visualize yourself seeing that wire that says, don't be too much. The little child that was scared of being too much. And you're just going to pull back that wire. Pulling back your energy and stories from all that. And really send back any energy, cutting cords, cutting ties with anybody or anything that made you believe that you were too much. That you took too much time, that you needed too much energy, that you were too much. And just send them back a shot of love. You know, and call back your power to choose what is too much, what is enough, what is just right for you. So you might be cutting ties with your parents. This is okay. This is a negative cord. Just pulling back those thoughts. And then in its place, as you have your energy there, visualize beautiful purple color going out, like stream, the purple river going out into your brain. And that's saying, I'm enough. My energy is just perfect. My, my emotions are perfect. The way I feel is fine. My needs and my desires are, are what they are. I'm safe. Just feel that go out into your world, into your brain, into your stories. Rewriting, reprogramming. I'm feeling these wires like go down into your spinal column, into your organs, into your nervous system, into your body. So you're inviting this new awareness into your body. This is epigenetics. This is feeling that, affirming it, giving yourself permission to feel really great about who you are, to do things for yourself, to have Feeling that, owning that, breathing. <sighs> Beautiful. Now visualize a bubble around you. In this bubble, you can feel your body. You might even put your hand on your heart. And then you can feel or sense this energy in front of you. There's a place where that energy ends and like the world begins, where your bubble ends and the world begins. Become aware of that space between you and where your bubble ends and see that bubble. If there's any rips or tears where people are sucking your energy, sucking your vibe, or you're letting it drain so you're not too much, you can seal it up. Seal it up. Feeling that, owning it. And then fill up on your space. Feeling your body in space. Feeling that space outside of your body, right outside of your skin, and then beyond that. If there's anybody or any ties that have been like pulling off your energy, Go ahead and just release those back to the person and places that it came, situations, just release them out. And if there's anything that is yours that are just out there attached to maybe your parents, maybe that person that doesn't want you to be too much, maybe you know, it's something that you really, really want and you're giving a lot of importance to, okay? and it's just like sucking you dry, sucking your attention, focusing on not having it, focusing on that lack. Go ahead and call that energy back to you and put it in this bubble around you. And invite yourself to trust. Trust yourself. Filling yourself up. 
being just enough for you. Just enough for you. And just sit here for a moment. Breathe. And feel your body, feel your toes, feel your shoulders. <sighs> Connect with that breath again, lifting your pelvic floor. Open your eyes. <sighs> Giving yourself full permission to trust your connection with yourself to trust the energy, the pulse of the universe that comes through you, seeing that line of the energy filling you up, filling your cup. You can't overtake. You have plenty to give. And you determine where you're pointed for you no longer bound to the shackles of somebody else's opinion of what too much is or what not enough is. I am super excited to bring you more transformations like this. So let me know how it went for you, how you felt, if you liked it, if you want more things like that, and if you have anything that you would like to transform specifically, a topic that is keeping your confidence confidence down that you would like me to address in this group, go ahead and let me know. All right. Talk to you soon.